And if you could talk us through this, yes, Sandra, it'd be okay. great what we have here. So here, if we start with the Yorkshire Wensadel cheese, mm -hmm. you can see it's quite mild. And if we cut it, it's quite crumbly. Yeah. There we go. It's got a crumbly okay. texture. So that's Can I different. Try a yeah, bit? you have a okay, taste. So, thank you. so the texture of a Wensadel cheese mm. is different to a cheddar. So mm. cheddar might be more rubbery and softer. This is quite a crumbly cheese, but it's still got a, a, a creamy, crumbly flavour. Oh, it's lovely. It's so good. And then we spoke about the cranberries before. This is Yorkshire Wensadel with cranberries. So you can see it's a very fruity cheese. We gently break down the, the Wensadel. We add the cranberries and then repress it. So it's a, a, fr a fruity cheese, but it's got it's got lots of colour. I'm getting to try it all here, mm. it's lovely. Yeah. Now this cheese here, the third one, is a smoked cheese. This is smoked Yorkshire mm. Wensleydale. So you can see that the outside of the, the rind is, um, is a golden beech colour. And that that's show that shows that it has been naturally smoked. So the actual rind might have a stronger smoke flavour than, than um, the centre of the cheese. But if you can see, it's still quite crumbly. Fantastic, lovely. There we go. Finally, we've got a blue cheese, so you can see all the blue veins in there. So we add a blue mould spore at the beginning of the cheese making process. The cheese then goes to a maturing room and is pierced, so that allows air into the cheese and that develops um, the, the blue veining that you see. And it's really, really creamy is this one. So you Fantastic. can see how the knife goes through. This there, is the one that's a little bit cream. more, don't say smelly, but stronger, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this maybe has yeah. it. It's, uh, there we go. So mm. you can see it's got a lovely colour. It's really, really creamy. Mm. Beautiful. So good. Yeah, so so many different colours, flavours, yeah, textures. It's delicious. Mm. And it's important to remember as well, obviously, cheese is very good for you because it's the milk um, in cheese that provides the calcium, which is very good for like mm. strong bones and strong teeth, and the protein as well, good for mm. growth and repair. But you can't just eat as much cheese as you want, can yeah, you? Yes, so, I mean, you're right, it does contain a lot of calcium, which is really important. Um, but it does contain um, salt and fat, so it's important that we eat it as part of a healthy, balanced diet.